Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's one of these days again where I talk about the Mi Band 2. And today we have a very special guest on this channel. It's me, from the past. Take it away. Thank you very much for letting me be in this video. Now, today is October 26th and my Mi Band 2 has started doing that again. When you tap it, it will tell you that it needs to be charged. That is normal behavior if the battery has gone down to 8%. At 10% it will start saying something. But the interesting thing for you is that I last charged it 30 days ago. And as you can tell by those statistics, I've been wearing it every day. I've also worn it while sleeping most of the days. So the battery lasted a month. And some of my viewers told me that for them it doesn't even last a week. And I want to find out why. I do have a suspicion. So today I'm gonna turn on this setting, lift wrist to view. Just turn it on right here. Which allows me to lift my wrist and it will show me the time. Which is somewhat convenient, yeah, I disabled it because I thought I don't really need it. But I think because it has to track the sensor all the time, this might be a reason why the battery dies quicker. So today I'm gonna charge it and we'll see how long the battery lasts with that feature turned on. Looking forward to that report? Back to you, future me. Thank you very much. It's now November 16th and the Mi Band has started doing that again. So, the battery is down to 10% and that in only 20 days. Now you might say, well, 10% is more than 8%, so that's not a good comparison, but give it half a day more and it will be down to 8%. Also, it's now past midnight, so it, it just jumped over to 20 days, a few minutes ago it was 19 days, so plus minus one day. Let's just say it's been 20 days because it's easier to calculate with that. Also I wanted to record this video today because I'm leaving for Copenhagen in a few hours, so I want to charge my Mi Band before that because it will not last five days anymore. Also it's really annoying if I have to wait three seconds for this battery empty thing to disappear whenever I want to have a look at the time. So if it's been 30 days without the feature turned on and 20 days with the feature turned on that means you can save a third of the battery life by turning the feature off. I mean of course this experiment is not statistically significant because it's been conducted once with one Mi Band. So, yeah, yeah, not, not, not very, you know, know what I mean. But it's something I did and I found out that I can save 30% of your battery life. Or if you see it the other way around, you can increase your battery life by 50%. That sounds more <laughs> marketing. But personally, I don't really mind. It's like 20 days or 30 days. Both are a long time. I mean, I'm used to charging my phone every day. So, might as well plug the Mi Band in for an hour. But maybe let's also have a look at the other side of the coin and analyze if the feature is any useful. I mean, we confirmed that it uses more energy, but is it worth it? If you ask me, it depends. I mean, it's not the best feature of the Mi Band. On the one hand, it is convenient just having to lift up the arm and it's on. But if you want to quickly see what time it is, you are faster if you slam the Mi Band. Because if you lift it, that's like half a second to a second that it needs to actually turn on. And, you know, for a guy like me who is very impatient and who wants to see the time now, then it's, you know, you're faster hitting it. Also, it will sometimes turn on when you do not want it to turn on. For instance, at night, if you roll over, suddenly, oh, there's something. As for me, the difference in battery life is not that big of a deal. I'll just keep it turned on, because sometimes you will just have something in the one hand, and then you can just turn it on without having to use this hand or slamming it against your head. So I will leave the feature turned on. While we're at it, I'm gonna change my goal to 9,000 steps per day, just so I can say over 9,000 whenever I reach the goal. And I do a lot of walking here in Cranfield. Like, most of the days I reach my 8,000 step goal. It would be interesting to see how long the battery lasts if I turn all those features off, including the sleep analysis. But I'm not gonna do that because I still want to do the sleep analysis. That's the main reason I'm using the Mi Band right now. And also I expect it to be very long, say two months at least. But 
Didn't try it, not gonna try it, as it's irrelevant for me anyway. But yeah, I hope you liked this little update on the Mi Band. I've been using this for a while now, so I kinda know what it's like. So yeah, if you have any questions about the Mi Band too, go ahead, ask them. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Charge this fucker again. Any case anybody thinks I'm cheating because I'm not charging it fully, I did charge it to 100%. Just saying. Just saying. Ain't no cheater.